care about if anybody say of them, I'm in the hood right I now. would hope not. Do you do you think that? Do you honestly think of that they did a five week parade uh, in Philly? Think... Meek Mill don't come to the hood. Do nah. you think I even would say anything on Twitter? No, nah, I don't think you would care. Not it at would this be point. funny. It would it would literally be funny. We help people come home. I fucking I buy my grandma in them houses. I buy my mom houses, sisters and nieces. My nephews and nieces see me superhero type shit. You think I care about with some niggas that ain't never, and not saying everybody from the hood never achieved nothing, but the people that talk like that are people that really had nothing going on for themselves. Like, why are you worrying about if fucking PNB Rock came from or Uzi came from Philadelphia? I'm talking, about, yeah, don't be in the hood no more. Why the fuck I want them to be in the hood? What I want them to get killed? I murder rate say 400 people a year, black kids. Why the fuck would I want PNB Rock or Lil Uzi to be in the hood? That's real. I'm y'all don't be in the hood like that. What sense do that make? But I was raised on that. I used to do that all the time. But now I be like, they said it ain't my block. It's not my block. I don't own no property on that block. I do got a few blocks that when my aunt own a property on it, I might own one. Now we can have that debate. But telling me that ain't my block, I don't have nothing to come here for. When I come around, coming 200,000 worth of charity, toys, passing them out myself. You can't make me feel like I'm not, I'm not, I'm him, I feel like. I passed out 200,000 toys in the hood yesterday. I left for six months and ain't been back, but when I was here, I did something. That's real flexing. I saw you post on Twitter. I don't know what you was talking about, but you said something to somebody like, I'm out here changing the law. I'm trying to get a law changed. I, I ain't really got time like, for this And shit. I want to speak on this. I was talking about what they was creating through Blueface and uh, Young Row. Boom. Young gotcha. Row, I probably knew Young Row 17 days. Him and Blueface is going back to back and everything is meek artists, meek artists. Come on, I'm not, I've been around this shit 10 years. Like, why the fuck is DJ Academics posting Blueface talking about Young Row? On Instagram, he posted it three, four times in a row. Like I, I, I watched him. Everybody tactical and like strategic. It was three posts of Blueface talking about Young Row. I'm like, Young Row knew he not even nobody even knew him yet. So what is leading up to my name being there? What else is going to lead up to? Wack 100 saying something. Now what? I'm saying something. Now what? This is a kid I just met a week ago and just signed and wanted to make some money with him. Now I'm in the middle of a fucking beef. I got laws and I got real shit going on. I don't even, and me, I'm scared to be in the middle of this shit. I don't want to be a law changer. I'm trying to live my life. I'm trying to make a few mistakes. I don't want to be here, but I had to make sure, make that known that like, I don't even entertain that type shit no more. Leave me out of that. Like, bro, I'm here for him. I will help support him. We got Bill. I got to... I gotta actually know this nigga just because we getting money together. And this go for any rapper that do business with me. Just because we sign this week don't mean that like our lives, who I beef with, becomes your beef. Like you know, I got real shit. I got kids in the house. I got a whole family tree I take care of. I would be pretending if I was out here acting like every artist I sign, his problems, his life problems, is my life problems. That's not the case. I do anything for Rome, giving them opportunity, change his family life, the way to. The people were setting it up, the uh, bloggers. It was they was lining something up, really, is what I seen. But your life don't change overnight when you sign a deal, though, right? Like, you ain't supposed to be able to just immediately go buy your mom a house. Yeah, a car, why are we even car comparing jewelry to family members? Right. Like, what conversation is, like, what is the basis of this conversation? We got black people comparing stones and metal to their moms and shit like that. I'm not even getting the basis of the debate. He's saying I ain't buy. No jury because I got to get my mom and them right before I buy a jury. It's nothing. I think Blueface should respect that. I know he respect that. I know Wack respect that. I respect that. And Ro, he made me like him even more for even saying that. With him and Blueface having words, it helped. He a young new artist. Nobody don't know that kid at the time. And all it did was help. I'm like, man, make sure you handle that shit right, man. Don't turn your rap shit into you coming in this shit beefing. You said you from the streets. You went through a lot of shit. Get in the shit, get your money. Let them know how you feel, but don't just be creating no chaos and little blogs, academics, y'all, this, that. Stop even pumping shit, because when y'all pumping it, in the middle of when it happened, you don't know Young Ro. You don't know if Blueface and them real gangbangers murderers. You don't know if Young Ro and them real murderers. Why you posting this shit four times and trying to, like, gas? I, I, I understand that bloggers have a job to do, but don't blatantly post no shit or instigate nothing with any of my artists. I'm not the white owners. With us is Jay Z at Rock Nation, it's Meek Mill at Dream Chase. We got a merged label. We not the white owners, so we handle them a little different. 